Welcome to the studio, Vin Jelly here and today I'm doing another pet portrait and uh, start with a very simple linear drawing which I trace from a more detailed drawing uh, on which I did the work out really and then once it's transferred I can work cleanly with watercolour so I start with cools just to map out some of the darks as you can see and then into some of the more focal points such as the eyes then adding some warmer colours um, carefully and taking my time to look at the tones and values whatever you like to call them and uh, gradually building up so there are some quite interesting colours in this it's a, a, a brindle pattern on the um, dog and uh, I'm trying to preserve the lights and work in a traditional watercolour way um, adding the darks, working a bit at a time and comparing each area to the other areas as I go so that I can keep the whole in mind. Um, there's some quite nice details on this um, but I'm not overdoing it. I want it to retain the watercolour feeling um, so there are some nice washes but I've emphasised some parts as well, kept some parts quite light and gradually just built up different areas until I was satisfied. So you can see the blue cools coming through um, underneath the warmer tones that are going on top and I quite like that warm cool pull push. It really gives a nice feeling of the reflection of the sky um, onto the fur, getting that kind of blue um, and it also contrasts nicely with the warms and, uh, so I'm adding a few little bits of white watercolour in as well uh, just to pick out a few of the hairs and here you can see a, a real time uh, it's difficult holding the camera at the same time as painting but uh, just putting in some of the background washes to create a little bit of atmosphere around the dog um, taking my time to do it just a couple of pale cool colours and uh, splotting them in there. I've got a rowny tin uh, which I've had for about 35 years that one. Uh, it's full of Winsor & Newton um, pans but they're all squirted out of tubes into pans that I bought. The other pan, uh, the other um, tin is a Windsor & Newton tin, that's also old, um, but I haven't had it very long, someone gave it me. And that's similarly packed with different pigments. So I've got a good range of colours there, they're all artist quality, and um, I like to keep them clean, I like to keep them moist, and I top them up with lots of uh, tubes that I've got in my drawers. Um, so back to the time lapse now, uh, for the final stages of the painting which overall took about uh, three hours, including the drawing, maybe four. Um, using a bit of Caran d'Ache watercolour pencil now, which I can soften with water as well, and drawing some of the highlights and some of the individual hairs just to give it some texture and sharpen up some of the areas. Um, and add my little stamp, and there, we do there we're done. So I hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe but it helps me produce videos and reach a bigger audience.